Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything I got from iMats. iMats, in case if you didn't know, means um, International Makeup Artists Trade Show. I think that's what it means. Basically what it is, is it's a kind of like a big convention center and it has a bunch of um, rows and booths full of like makeup, wigs, um, brushes, basically anything beauty can think of, they have it. Um, and I bought a ton of stuff and I want to show you guys everything I got because I'm like so excited about everything I got. I made my boyfriend stay up with me last night just so I can show him everything and I'm going to show you guys. And so if you guys are curious what I bought, um, please continue to watch and welcome back. I walked in and started seeing like a bunch of like makeup tools and stuff so this booth like really caught my attention um, it's it was called um, Nigel Beauty Emporium um, I guess it's a store and it carries like multiple brands eight lashes for ten dollars so I was like okay then I guess I guess we get that so that's what we're doing today so I got eight lashes I got two of each style, so I'm just going to show you guys. I got this style was $5.23. I got these four fifteens. I got this style 43 And last but not least, I got the style $7.47. Well, I bought a bunch of these because I thought they were super cute and they were really cheap. And I wanted to add these lashes to my makeup kit so um, whenever I do makeup on someone they can take some lashes home with them and they're actually pretty lashes like they're not just like cheap ones. So I basically paid like a dollar for each lash. I'm not mad about that at all. From Nigel's I also got a pack of wands, lip gloss wands also for my kit and then I got a steel spatula also for my kit. Um, this is like a really skinny one, so I thought it would be perfect because, I don't know, I just didn't want a big fat one. And I saw this and I was just like, okay, I don't have one, I need one, boom. Next, my bag of Korean Spirit, Parian Spirit, I don't know what to say. This is like a well-known brand for brush cleaner. Um, so they had this set for $25. Which comes with this, which is a 16 ounce, like the refill. And it comes with the sprayer for the brush cleaner. I would just use this and then use the <clears throat> use that one to refill this. So it also comes with a interchangeable head lid for the refill. Um, so that you can just like pour it in very easily. This jar comes with like a net. And um... Basically what it does is if you're on the go, you need to like have something to rub against your brushes to clean it. It keeps all of the like residue underneath. And I just thought it was really cool because like when I'm doing makeup on um, multiple people and I need to like hurry up and change brushes just in case I don't have enough brushes. Um, this is like bomb for that. And they gave me like this little pack of brush cleaning wipes. Um, so... I thought that was a good deal. So also I bought some cocoa lashes um, in the style Queen Bee and they are the lashes that I'm currently wearing. So this is like my first ever pair of cocoa lashes and I bought them for I think six dollars so I'm not mad about that. Okay so there was like this stand and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name of the brand but it was Urella. Um, I bought these lashes. They look so freaking, oh my gosh, they look so beautiful. I bought these for myself because I was like, dang. Um, and they're the style, the style Gala. Um, so also this booth was like super cool because, um, so basically just for standing by the booth, um, they gave you a choice of a free liquid lipstick, lip, liquid lipsticks, but these are like mini ones. Um, and then they were so nice. They said if you followed them on Instagram, you get to have three. So I got two of the same um, liquid lips, which one of them, these two are called Layla, and this one is called Fade. Um, 
and I ended up getting another one of Layla because I knew I wanted to add these to my kit because they're like tiny and like basically I can just give them to whoever I put on them. I got another Layla so I can try it out myself and that's actually what I have on. I have this and um, a MAC liner and then I have a, gl a gloss over it but basically this is the color. This, it seems really really nice. So I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about the brand RCMA. They're really popular for their powder. I have never tried it, but I've heard it's a really good powder to have in your makeup kit. And it's actually pretty big. And I feel like you don't even need to use that much. Like a little bit goes a long way. It has like a little um, shaker. So it stays hygienic. And um, this is the no color powder. Um, I think they're originally like $12 and I think I paid like 9 for it. So it was pretty cool and then they gave me like a little bag that um, was like a reusable bag. Like so I can take grocery shopping or whatever. So Benefit was there and Benefit is the brow product that I use. I am obsessed with the foolproof brow powder. Um, I use the, the shade 5. They were 40% off, so I think I paid $15, and they're originally like $24. Um, if you have not tried this, you are definitely missing out. So the first thing I got at the Morphe store was um, one of their eyebrow pencils. I have never used their eyebrow pencils before, but they were super cheap, and I was just thinking about my makeup kit. So I got this shade Java, and I think... It was a good deal because I think it was only like two or four dollars. Then I also got two eyeliners and they were two dollars. Like what? Well, it's not. They're not eyeliners. They're actually um, color pencils, so you can use them for eyeliner or you can use them as a lip liner. Um, I was thinking lip liner. I don't know why is it eyeliner, but um, they're basically universal pencils that you can use on anything. Um, so I got two shades. I got the shade. Love Bite, which is uh, basically like a pretty nude color. Um, and I also got the shade Makeup Talk. So it's another nude color. They're just like slight, slightly different. One is more like pinky. Um, and I was just like, okay, $2. Like, there's no way. There's no way to go wrong with those. Um, I love lip liners and I love nude colors. So pretty much couldn't resist. This is a purchase I'm really excited about. Um, I got a steel palette from them. Basically what I was thinking about this palette was that it would be perfect for makeup applications because obviously like I would put my foundation in here, I concealer, li uh, lipstick, whatever, and it wouldn't like spill out because it has this like little ridge and this hole so I can actually hold it. And in this it also, um, came with two steel spatulas. So, there's one. I think they're actually the exact same thing. Yeah, they are. And um, although I bought my other spatula before I went to the Morphe, the other spatula is a lot skinnier, so I can still use all of them, and I feel like spatulas are very useful anyways. Um, and this so I was so happy about this because I actually needed a palette, but this one was steel and um, It had the little indents and came with these two and and all together it was ten dollars So I feel like it was a really good deal. I bought a ton of brushes. So I'm just gonna do them all together because I have them in a cup and I just there's so many boots. I bought them from so I'm just gonna pause on Morphe and go back to some of the other stuff so I bought this palette from them because I don't recognize this palette, but I swatched and it was so beautiful and so creamy. This is the palette, um, and I bought this for $9. So it has some mattes and some shimmers in it, and it's so beautiful. Um, and this is going to go in my makeup kit. So one of the friends that... Um, went with us to iMats. She basically got a gift of purchase from the brand Moda, and they gave her this, but she said that she's not a fan of this kind of these kind of brushes, um, so she gave them to me. I've never tried these kind of brushes, so I'm actually excited about it. Another GWP that I, gift of purchase that I got was 
from the Makeup Shack. Um, I bought a few brushes, so they gave me a little um, beauty sponge. So now I'm going to get started on the brushes. I got so many brushes. Um, extremely happy about this. I got this brush from Crown, Crown Brush. So this is like a really good under eye concealer buffing out brush. This is going in my kit for sure. From the Makeup Shack, I got a T87 brush. Um, I got two of these actually, one for myself and one for my makeup kit. Um, they just looked like the perfect size for like blending. Um, I don't really have like a huge amount of lid space so my blending brushes usually look pretty small like this. So, and I also just thought it was really pretty so I got two of them. So this is a brush I got from Royal. This is a Complexion BMD 185 brush. I feel like this was going to be a good foundation brush for my kit. It's like a buffing brush kind of. Um, I've never tried their brushes, but they were super cheap and I heard good things about them. Um, I got that brush and then I got another um, under eye buffing concealing brush. Um, this is the Super Crease BMD 445 brush. Um, I think it's supposed to be for eyeshadow, but I feel like under eyes it would be perfect. Um, and so pretty. They gave me a brush for signing up for their mailing list on um, my email. So they gave me this brush and it's just like a good um, angled brush. It is a brow brush actually, and it is BMD 510. So this is my third and final um, under eye concealing buffing brush. This is from Morphe and it's a M173. Um, basically looks like the other two, but I felt like I needed a lot of these. So I bought this uh, chubby foundation brush from that brand that was um, Crown Brush and this is also going in my kit. I just figured it would be like a fast way to do foundation. Um, I bought this one from Crown. It's like a bronzing brush. I also bought this one from Crown Brush. This is like a breath buffing brush. This is the kind I use on myself. Not this brand, but it basically looks exactly like this. This brush is from Morphe and it is M106. And this is like a good bronzing brush as well, or blush or powder, whatever. This one I also bought from Morphe. This is like a brow brush and a spoolie on the other end. And this is the E29 angled brush. This brush I bought, I think I bought it also from Crown. It is unlabeled and it's just like one of those blending brushes it's like small this one is from morphe and this is a m224 this is like good for um concealing the eyes packing it on or concealing the brows um i have one kind of like this but it's a little smaller um and then these two are both lip brushes this one is from morphe and it is the m170-4 um, lip brush and then this one is from crown brush and it is a c464 oval lip um i need these both for my kit and then these two brushes i already opened because i used them today um so this one is from crown brush and it is a silicone smudger c465 so this is like to pick up glitter or um liquid glitters and i used it um right here already and then this one is from Morphe and it is a M250-1 and it's like a liner brush. Um, I did it when I was trying to make my concealer like super sharp. Um, I used them so that's why they're not in the packaging. Um, and then the very last thing I got was also from the Morphe um, booth. So this is to carry my makeup kit with me. It is from the Morphe store booth. It's like a big ass duffel bag. And it's clear and it has a bunch of little, um, whatever these are called, all around it. Um, and I paid 35 for it, so I feel like it was a really good deal because I don't know how much they are. But all the ones I was trying to find on Amazon were, like, really expensive. So 
I pretty much got a lot, a lot of brushes and things for my kit and then a few things for myself, including this wig, which is like, this is like the most thing I'm happy and excited about because I've been wanting wigs and I just feel like, I don't know, I'm just so happy about it. So that was everything that I bought from iMats and thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and please comment any questions or suggestions for things for my makeup kit and brushes that I should try and I will see you guys next time.